Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, I'm excited to show you what's new in Oxygen 4.2. Oxygen 4.2 is a bit more of a low key release, but the features that we've included should unlock a lot of workflow efficiency and potential opportunity for what you can build with Oxygen. So let's start in with the first feature, which is probably gonna save a ton of you a lot of time when working with Oxygen. So let's go ahead and drop in a section and let's go to advanced size and spacing, and we're gonna play with the padding controls. Traditionally, to change the unit here, you had to click the unit and then select it. Well, now you can just type whichever unit you want. And as long as it's available for the field you're typing in, this unit will go ahead and switch automatically. So let's say we want to do something more advanced with like CSS functions and we want no unit. We can just type none and it's gonna go ahead and switch that over to the none unit. Then we can do something like calc 20 pixels minus 10 pixels or whatever you need to do in your particular case. But let's say we want something like rem, we could do three rem, and it's gonna go ahead and switch the unit over to rem. And the same applies to any field in Oxygen where there are multiple units available. So I think for anybody that's not designing with pixels primarily, this is gonna save you a ton of time when changing values in Oxygen. And yes, this also applies to global settings. So we can go over here to global settings, global styles, and go somewhere like our heading settings. And we could change our font size to rems if we want, or we can change it to m's, or whatever we decide we need that's available in this dropdown. Now for the next new feature, we added the ability to unwrap code block PHP and HTML. This is kind of a developer centric feature because code blocks are one of the most powerful aspects of Oxygen, and we wanted to make it even more powerful by allowing you to output raw PHP and HTML without any of Oxygen's arbitrary wrappers on the front end. So let's drop in a code block and I'll show you what this means. So right now, if we save this and go up to the front end, we can take a look at the structure. Let's go over here and we'll right click and inspect. Now we can see here that we have our section inner wrap, which is the section around our code block. Then we have this div with an ID in a class. This div is output by Oxygen by default. And then our PHP output, the result of our PHP function or echo is here between the div as its content. But what if we don't want this to be wrapped? What if we just want hello world? Well, now you can do that in Oxygen by ticking this box. This will unwrap the code block PHP and HTML on the front end. Note that this will result in ID assigned styles not applying to the code block on the front end, but if you need this feature, you're probably not using those anyways. So now whatever we put in here is going to be output on the front end with no wrappers. So let's take a look at what that looks like. We'll inspect this again. And you can see now we have our CT section in a wrap, which is from our section, and then just hello world, which is what our PHP is echoing. So let's go back here and another use case would be just writing raw HTML. So we want a div with a class of my div and then we want say an unordered list. So we'll do a UL and then we'll do a couple of list items in here. LI, item one, LI, item two. So we've just written raw HTML inside a visual builder. And since we ticked the unwrap box for this code block, when we go to the front end, we're gonna see this output as raw HTML, no additional wrappers, just starts with my div that I created, and then the unordered list and the list items, etc. There are also some use cases where you can do more advanced things like opening a div tag in one code block and closing it in another, and then sandwiching elements between that. I showcased that a little bit in the alpha release video. So if you're a developer or a more advanced user and you're interested in that, you can go check that video out to see what I'm talking about. But for the most part, this is gonna allow you to hand code things when you need to and get that hand coded markup output on the front end without anything extra from Oxygen. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. Those are the two new features available in Oxygen 4.2, and thank you very much for watching.